What is good, Guardians? Soldier only here from Sports Nerd Web. Welcome to this special episode of Destiny Unplugged. Special because the Bungie stream just ended and uh, it was the first uh, of three streams that they're going to be doing over the next week every Wednesday. It was the first one where they finally revealed uh, details about the Age of Triumph. And pretty much, uh, pretty much for the most part, it's actually what the community has been. You know, a lot of the rumors that have been going around the community of what, you know, we were expecting to get. Um, starting off, they're, they are bringing back all the old raids, every raid. So you're going to get, uh, you know, Vault of Glass, uh, uh, Crota's End, King's Fall. All of them are going to be brought up to current light level. Um, they're, they're all going to be at light level 390. Um, and, but there is, there, they are not going to raise the, overall light level uh, the light level cap so that will stay at 400 um, and then uh, another thing that, that they're going to be doing uh, they're going to be bringing back another book there's going to be there's going to be a new book called the age of triumph and it's actually going to be the biggest book that they, that they've ever had and in the stream they actually went through it page by page there's actually going to be 13 pages of stuff and it's going to, going to be for guardians of all types of play skills and like types of players as well. I mean, there's PvP content, there's PvE, uh, there's stuff, you know, like I said, for the Crucible goals to do, stuff for raids, uh, stuff for even strikes. Uh, they said there will be some... Uh, next week they're actually supposed to be talking about some of the changes that are going to be coming to the strikes, like as far as, far as the night falls are concerned and stuff like that. Um, so it, with a book this big, I mean, 13 pages of stuff, you know, there, I think that this will keep us occupied for a little while, you know. So like I said in, um, I think it was my video yesterday, you know, like whatever the Age of Triumph is, you know, it's going to have to carry us over, you know, through the summer, uh, you know, for that drought that's going to be leading into Destiny 2. <clears throat> So, and then another thing that they're, that they're going to be doing is uh, there's actually going to be a weekly featured raid. Uh, so every week there's going to be a different raid feature, kind of like how they do with the Nightfall, pretty much, with the Strikes. Um, and they kind of outlined what the next few weeks are going to look like. Uh, for week one, it's actually going to be Crota's End. Uh, and they also said that every challenge will be active on these weekly raids, so every modifier will be active at the same time. Uh, and then week two is going to be Vault of Glass, and then week three will be King's Fall. Uh, yeah, and then like I said, uh, yeah, next week they're supposed to be talk. Uh, they're going to be bringing in like a different, uh, different parts of different members of the team uh, to talk about different aspects of it. So um, I believe it will probably be at the same time. I would imagine. Uh, so you can check it out at twitchtv slash Bungie at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, that was the time that, that this raid was. Um, let's see. And then there's there's actually going to be new rewards on old raids. So, like, stuff like, uh, like, we, like searching for ghosts and, like, the dormant ghosts, uh, dormant SIVA clusters and uh, dead ghosts and stuff like that. So you'll, you'll see rewards that were added later in the games. So you'll see rewards like that in older raids. And then you will still be able, if you haven't done any of the raids and all that, you will still be able to play the raids at the older level. So when you bring up the raid, it'll have like the old ones, you know, like at 290. And then what they're adding now, it's it's actually like a hard mode to them technically. And then that will be the 390 light level raids that they're bringing up to the current light levels. Um, and then Age of Triumph is actually supposed to go uh, live on at the end of the month on March 28th is when it's supposed to be rolling out. Um, I'm sure it will probably go out uh, when, when probably, I think it's like uh, 9 or 10 a.m. Pacific when they normally uh, do the weekly update when that rolls out. So I'm sure it, it's going to go live when that weekly update goes live as well. So um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to do it uh, for the reveal stream for this week. Uh, tune in next week. Uh, like I said, twitch.tv slash Bungie at 10 a.m. Pacific. They're going to be talking about some other stuff. Um, only thing that, that they really mentioned that they're going to be talking about next week is some of the changes to the strikes and nightfalls. So um, 
someone like me, you know, who, who you know, I do a lot of strikes, so uh, it's definitely going to be interesting for a player like me, uh, you know, to see what they're going to be doing. So uh, I'm I'm stoked to finally be getting another live update, you know, some more content, and I'm glad that it actually looks like it's a pretty sizable update. Uh, and I think one of the last reveals, they're actually going to be talking about the sandbox update that's going to be rolling out with Age of Triumph. Uh, I'm sure that, you know some of the some more changes uh, to the meta and stuff like that. I don't think it's going to be anything major, uh, you know, like we just saw with the recent meta change. Change so uh, so we'll just have to wait and see what they do with that. So that's going to do it for this one for this week. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video. Sub to the channel for more content in the future. Love y'all. Have a good week. We'll see ya. Cheers.